Summary of the Lemon Orchard by Alex Laguma In the middle of a lemon orchard, on a brisk winter evening, a group of guys can be seen moving between the two rows of trees. Overhead, dark clouds hide the moon, and the only sounds you can hear are crickets singing and a dog barking briefly. The air smells like lemons, which are sour. A man with a light walks in front of the others, and a man with a loaded pistol tells him to slow down because it's getting dark behind them. Even though he walks at the back of the group, this man is in charge. When one of the men talks about how cold it is, the leader asks if he is as cold as the colored, multiracial, guy going ahead of them, which is a slur against people of color. The black man shivers because his hands are tied behind his back and he isn't wearing warm clothes like the others. When the men woke him up and took him hostage, they only let him put on pants and a jacket over his clothes. When the man with the flashlight asks the black man if he's cold, the black man is too scared and too stubborn to answer. Andres, the fifth man in the group, says that the black man is shaking not because he is cold but because he is scared. Both he and the man who said it was cold have whips with them. Then Andres says the black man is stupid, which makes the boss tell everyone to stop and wait. He says that the black man is not stupid, but is instead a well-educated savage. The boss presses his shotgun against the colored man's back and pulls back the hammer, telling the colored man to answer when a bass, master, talks to him. The person with the light nervously tells the boss not to shoot because they don't want to be held responsible for killing someone. The person in charge wants to know what the man with the lantern is up to. Under the light of the lamp, the leader's face is dark red and so pockmarked that it looks like a map with lots of marks and hills and valleys. The blue in his eyes looks like ice. He uses a term against the black man again and says that he is a teacher at a school that he and the other people pay for. The leader tells everyone that the black man was rude to a white preacher at their church, which he won't stand for. The person with the light agrees with the boss, but he warns again not to kill. The boss responds with another racial slur, saying that he will shoot any non-white person he wants to get recognition. The leader puts his gun to the back of the black man and asks if he heard him. Andre steps up, hits the black man in the face, and says the same thing as the leader. The black man, who is having trouble getting up, is afraid for his life. He answers, yes, bass, in a way that is both polite and mocking, but no one else seems to notice. The group keeps going through the field after this. The leader says that the black man should have taken the headmaster and the church leader to court over the beating they gave him. Andre says that they'll beat him so hard that it will teach him a lesson. The boss agrees. They will send the black man to the city, where people with less pride live. They don't want smart people who aren't white to live in their town. The men are talking when they hear a dog barking in the distance. The man with the light says that the dog is a good guard and that he tried to buy it from the farmer who owns it but failed. He says that he would look after it very well. As the group keeps going, the lemon trees sway in the wind, making a harsh sound that doesn't seem to fit with how nice the fruit smells, the smell is stronger now, as if the lemons were being juiced. The air is getting cooler and the crickets are getting louder. The moon has come out from behind the clouds and is shining silver light on the leaves. Finally, the man with the light points out a place to stop, a hole in the orchard that looks like an amphitheater and is ringed by trees. When the moonlight hits the sharp tips of the leaves and twigs, it lights up the dew so that it looks like a quicksilver. About the author Laguma was born in Cape Town, South Africa. His father, James Laguma, was a leader in the South African Communist Party and the Industrial and Commercial Workers' Union. After Laguma finished technical school in 1945, he joined the Plant Workers' Union of the Metal Box Company. He was fired for leading a strike, though. Because of this, he got active in politics. In 1947, he joined the Young Communists League, and in 1948, he joined the South African Communist Party. During apartheid in South Africa, Laguma helped put together the Freedom Charter in 1956. This was a document that called for equal rights for all races, a fair vote system, and the redistribution of wealth, among other things. This got him and 156 other people arrested and tried for treason, 
but they were found not guilty in the end. His first short story, Nocturne, came out in 1957. A few years later, he started writing for a progressive newspaper, which was also seen as a rebellious act. In 1962, he and his wife Blanche were locked up in solitary confinement and then put under house arrest. The first time The Lemon Orchard was read was in Laguma's book A Walk in the Night, which came out the same year. In 1966, Laguma and his family went to the United Kingdom, where they lived for the rest of his life. During the 1960s and 1970s, he kept writing short stories and books. In 1969, he won the Lotus Prize for Literature. Laguma finally became the chief agent of the African National Congress in the Caribbean. He held this position until his death from a heart attack in 1985. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.